Hello everyone and welcome to my channel, Advice to Think Twice. My name is Monica and today I'm doing your weekly readings for August for the week starting August 17th, 2015. And this reading is for Taurus. Before I start, I want to say thank you for all your support with your likes and shares and subscriptions and your beautiful comments. And thank you to all of you who've had private readings with me. Um... Please remember these are general readings and so they may not apply to all of you or not in the same way. Uh, and for private readings, email me at advice to think twice at gmail.com and I'll get back to you with all the information regarding um, the booking, what kind of readings I offer, costs involved, what the process is, all of it. So for now, just take what resonates from this general reading because that's what you're meant to hear. Okay, so Taurus, you start the week on Monday with the Princess of Swords with La Riunione. Okay, so on Monday On Monday, you're getting together with someone to receive news. You're receiving news on something you've been waiting to hear on for a while. And the news makes you anxious because you've been waiting for it for so long. And um, maybe you've had doubts that it will happen the way you hope it will. Now the Princess of Swords is um, telling you is that she brings honest communication. Um, sometimes it's not the easiest thing to hear, but ultimately it's for um, it's for good. because you have support there so even if you get a bad news on Monday you have support to help you get through it your friend or your partner or a family member is there for you to help you deal with this situation for some of you um, you are going to get some news that um, is a bit unpleasant on Monday but the cards are asking you to focus on the positive uh, focus on the support you have and um, take the news but don't dwell on it even if it's bad news don't dwell on it take it accept it and then see how you can move on from it don't dwell on the bad news because that'll just get you in a bad place On Tuesday, you have the Prince of Wands with Il Nemico. So on Tuesday, some of you are dealing with a fire sign who's giving you a hard time. Uh, fire signs are Aries, Sagittarius and Leos. But again, it doesn't have to be a fire sign. It's simply someone who's very um, short-tempered, um, someone who always has to be right, someone who's very stubborn, someone who's not particularly consistent, um, flaky. And so on Tuesday, um, they are giving you a bit of a hard time. It's like they get in your way on Tuesday. You can't do your work because you keep bumping into them. They keep asking things from you. They keep um, wanting things from you. They keep uh, wanting you to do things that are not what you want to do. So this could be a difficult co-worker um, or it could be just a friend, someone, um, someone in your life who is just focus on them and so they can't see that you are already busy 
when they just come at you with, oh, let's do this and let's do that and let's go there and let's go there. And so you need to find your calm on Tuesday when dealing with this person because they're already so fired up. You don't want to reply in the same way. You don't want to um, get fired up yourself because that will just escalate the situation and it doesn't have to. As long as you stay grounded and focused on what you're doing, you'll get through the day and it's just the one day that they're in your way all the time. The Prince of Wands um, often talks about a change of location. So it could be that for some of you, but for most of you, I'm getting I'm getting that it's a it's an actual person in your life. And for others of you, this is someone who's who just feels like they're too much, who just feels like they're overbearing, and so. It's almost like you're trying to avoid them on Tuesday to do your own things that you have to do and just avoid them because you know they'll just um, distract you. On Wednesday you have the chariot and um, I'm changing the webcam tomorrow so I'm sorry if the videos are a bit fuzzy this week. I changed the previous one to get try to get a better one and this is not it. Okay so again the chariot and la mante okay so on Wednesday On Wednesday, you could be um, traveling to see someone you care about. It could be a romantic interest, or it could simply be a friend or a family member, someone you really um, you're really close to, and you're traveling to see them. For others, this person is coming in to see you. It could be a cancer. If you're dealing with a cancer, they're taking a trip to come to see you. It could be that you're meeting them for lunch. Um, or or dinner, or they're, they're coming to your home to see you. For others, this is progress in love. This is things um, starting to move quickly in love for you. Um, for some, I'm hearing you being swept off your feet on Wednesday. You're losing your head. And this person is someone who inspires you. But I feel like some of you um, would like to slow things down a little bit with this person and you're not sure how to tell them because it's like they're just charging in and you need to take your time. And so it's like you have to come to terms within yourself with wanting to go forward with this, but at the same time staying true to yourself and not allowing yourself to feel rushed. So Wednesday you have to find that balance and what feels right for you and what feels comfortable in this situation. But the, char the chariot is in general about um, travel, about fast movement, fast um, changes coming in, and it's a major arcana card, so um, it would be um, important changes, significant changes. Um, for others, I'm hearing that you are taking charge of your own life. This could be your emotional life. Um, this could be you deciding not to do 
the same thing over and over again. This could be you deciding not to make the same mistakes, not to go for the same kinds of people. Um, you really finding your um, strength and your confidence when it comes to love, not accepting whatever's offered to you, just um, knowing what you want and not settling for less. Uh, so that's a big decision that you're making on Wednesday. For others, this is about um, no more delays. Whatever's been delayed in your life, whether it's your love life or your work life, what, whatever's been delayed um, is now starting to move again on Wednesday and it's um, it's got some momentum. For others, this is a Leo person pushing you uh, forward. whether that's in uh, work or your personal life, they're um, helping you make this uh, change. They are helping you with this progress. They are causing this progress. On Thursday, you have the Five of Pentacles with La Vecchia Signora. So on Thursday, Maybe this is related to um, the day before and now you're not sure what to do. Um, you feel like you're on your own in the sense that you can't really talk to your partner or this potential partner coming in. You can't really say anything because you don't want to hurt their feelings or you fear that if you say anything, um, they'll lose interest. And so you're seeking counsel. And you have a wise person in your life who you go to see um, to seek counsel from. Um, this could be an elderly person. It could be um, your mother or your father or grandparents. Um, someone who has been through a lot. Someone who's very wise. For those of you, you are having a bit of a difficult time financially. And um, this um, person this wise person in your life or this elderly person in your life or this um, person who you view as someone who's been through a lot um, and has a lot of wisdom, you go to them for um, help, for support, financial support or um, emotional support. It's a day where you could be feeling like you're on your own, no one has your back, you're left out in the cold, there's no one to turn to, but the cards are telling me that um, you're not dwelling in that. You do, you may feel that way, but um, this person just comes into your, into your mind and says, oh, I can go to her for help, or I can go to him, he'll help me. And so I, I see you doing that on Thursday, you finding help, you finding support, not letting um, this bad situation, whatever it is, um, keep you down. On Friday, you have the King of Swords with La Fedelta. So the King of Swords with Faithfulness is the card. Alright, so on Friday... I feel like this King of Swords is helping you. This King of Swords is protecting you or protecting your interests. Um, and so, again, this could be a father figure or someone who you view as very strong, very independent, um, someone who doesn't um, like to waste time, someone who uh, doesn't put up with people's... Um, lies or people's dramas, um, someone who's very, very focused, very determined, very rational, very intellectual. This could be an air sign, it could be a Gemini, Libra, Aquarius, 
but it doesn't have to be again it's someone um, who's very intellectual very smart very rational you um, talk things through with him or her and they are your support on Friday and they're your help and they're your protector it's someone who's inspired and so maybe they um, give you an idea about how to move forwards from this difficult situation whether it's in finances or in your love life but they are your support on Friday they're your guardian on Friday And they're very inspired. They're very inspired, and they're very inspiring to you. It's like you look up to them for strength and inspiration. And so this person's playing um, a big role in your life on Friday. On Saturday, you have the Five of Cups with Gran Consolazione. Alright, so on Saturday I see rewards coming to you or good things coming to you but you focusing more on what you've had to sacrifice to get to that point rather than enjoying the rewards that are coming in. Five of Cups is a card of sadness and regret. Um, despair even. It's a card of focusing on the negative, focusing on what you've lost or you feel you've lost, what your perception is telling you that you've lost and not focusing on what you still have, on the resources you still have. It's feeling like you've nothing in the world, um, uh, like you've lost everything but in reality you haven't. And so, on Saturday, um, most of you are not going to be in a very happy place, even though there's a lot of reasons you should be in a happy place, because you're getting um, news of financing, getting finances getting better, news of financing, if that's what you're waiting on. Um, for, for some, this is someone making an offer to you, an offer of um, a love, but you're not looking at that you're focusing on your past what you think you've lost or who you think you've lost there is recognition coming your way but again you're not it, it's not important to you or you're not celebrating it it's like yeah okay but look at look at everything i've given up to get here or look at um what i've had to sacrifice um look at who has left me because i was so focused on um, whatever else it was and so the advice with the five of cups is really just turn around just change your focus change your perspective um, turn around and see the things that you do have in your life because you do have still have a lot of good things in your life don't focus on what is lost don't focus on the past because the past is the past for a reason you've learned your lessons now it's time to let it go and focus on all the good things that are coming in. You need to go from from that, from having your back turned um, to the riches, and you need to change your focus so that you are looking at this, so that it's in your sight on a Saturday. On Sunday, you have the Nine of Wands with il ladro okay so for some of you on Sunday you're resisting change I'm getting that very strongly it could be again there's something coming in but you're not looking at it you don't focus you don't look at it you just focus on what you've lost or what you've left in the past um, for some this is a person that's trying to come in your life and you're you're resisting them you're not looking at them because you're focused on your past, you're focused on all the times you've uh, been hurt, you're focused on all the times you've been burnt, 
in the past and you're very apprehensive. So for some of you on Sunday, you're resisting change. For others of you, you're protecting what you have on Sunday. So I don't know if you're getting um, a safe installed or you're putting a pen on your phone or on your computer, password, getting the password set up. You're protecting what you have basically on Sunday changing the locks I'm hearing for some of you but for most I feel like you're resisting change you're not letting something or someone come in because you're looking to what you think you've lost the spiritual advice is three of Michael and funnily enough it says release the past you will grow from the situation Time heals all wounds. Okay, so whatever it is that you think you've lost, or you think, or you feel regret towards, or guilt, change your focus. It's not lost. Um, it's not something that was taken from you. It's not something that you lost. It was a lesson you had to learn. And so now that you've learned it, you have to release the particular situation that taught you the lesson because the purpose was for you to learn the lesson. And so now that you have, there's no point in hanging on to that situation. For some, this is someone in your past specifically that you are refusing to let go of. You are, what you need to understand is by doing that, you're keeping yourself in that same place of hurt and you're not allowing yourself to move on, no matter how much time passes from that time or how much time and distance you put between you and that person, whenever you think back to them and whenever you feel regret, you're right back there in that moment. You've not grown at all, you've not evolved at all. And so that's what you need to remember and that's why it's important for you to Learn the lesson and then let go of the past, let go of the situation, let go of the pain. There's no point for regret. It was meant to happen that way for you. And so please try to do that this week because there are opportunities coming in. There are people potentially coming in. You have support. It's just your focus. You need to change your focus. You need to adjust your focus and look towards the future rather than the past. You, your love and relationship advice is let your friends help you. Ask for and accept support from others. So again, focus on what you do have. Focus on your friends. If this is you focusing on a person in your past that you think you've lost or that you feel guilt or regret towards, the card is telling you, let go of that. Um, let your friends help you, let your family help you. Accept the support, accept all the advice you receive and really take it to heart. Don't let them just talk at you. Allow them to talk to you. Accept their words, let them in. accept their help, accept their support if you are coupled and um, you may be going through a bit of a difficult time the card is telling you um, step out of that situation for a minute um, stop trying to fix things just let the situation breathe Focus on just yourself for a few days this week. Stop trying to force things to work with your partner. Stop trying to fix them, I'm hearing. Let them breathe, let the situation breathe and it will calm down and resolve itself. 
Okay, so that is your reading, Taurus, for the week of August 17th, 2015. Um, I hope you've enjoyed the reading. And I hope you have a good week, a week of healing. And a week of focusing on all the good things and people that are coming in your life. Thank you for being here and I'll see you again next week. Thank you and take care.